But he seems to, and you, you seem to be, I think, uh, uh, maybe uh, unintentionally misrepresenting the law when you talk about Nixon. The law was passed after Nixon. Nixon had a case because the law wasn't in place. The law uh, was effective with the Reagan presidency in 1981. Does, the, does Donald Trump think he should get paid? Is that what's going on here? Because Nixon got paid $18 million. He wants, is he just holding these documents for some sort of financial settlement? Nah, that's a cheap shot. Look, if uh, he keeps so, bringing up this Nixon thing. What so, other reason okay, is he so bringing let's it go, up? Let's go more modern day, because you're right about the timing yeah. of the Presidential Records Act. Uh, Bill Clinton had multiple recordings he kept in a sock drawer of his presidency while in the Oval Office, talking to foreign leaders, talking to mm -hmm. advisors. He basically said, hey, that stays in my sock drawer. It's personal. Nara didn't blink. Obama Foundation had millions of documents in a former, I think, uh, furniture store out in Illinois, arguable whether it was ever really truly secured. They acknowledged that they had classified documents, probably to the tune of thousands, mm -hmm. and there was never any blink by NARA. They, in fact, said, we're going to give NARA $3.3 million to help move these documents back eventually when we have a digitized mm -hmm. library. That's never happened. Now, the payments may have happened, but that's never happened. NARA was perfectly comfortable accepting money for a move that won't happen for thousands of classified documents in some place near a McDonald's in Illinois and, and never blinked, never any criminal tools, never any criminal referrals. So look, this, is a, this has a rotten underpinning in terms of bureaucrats being politicized followed up by an all-too-eager DOJ to criminalize something that's not a crime. That was the he, point of the president's comment. He has done with classified documents what no former president has ever done. I mean, you, you keep trying to say, all of those situations you represent, there was actual cooperation by those former presidents to deal with the dispute. In this case, not only is he not cooperating, he is actively not cooperating. And again, he did not comply with a subpoena. That's the end of the day. That's the obstruction charge. Why didn't he comply with the subpoena? There was a subpoena for all classified documents. He did not comply with the subpoena. He was caught not complying with the subpoena because of the, with the search warrant ended up turning up more classified documents. How do you explain him defying a subpoena? Chuck, the democratic narrative, which you're, you're touting right now to try to draw a distinction. It's, it's just a set of facts. Well, Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.